What a difference a year makes when it comes to treating and beating COVID-19. Doctors now have an arsenal of effective treatments that are keeping people out of the hospital and saving lives. The I-team's Joel Grover has been following the race for COVID drugs and cures since the very beginning. And tonight he tells us which treatments you should ask for if you or someone you know gets sick. 34-year-old Catherine Acopian was in the midst of planning her wedding last month when she began to lose her sense of taste and smell and became dizzy. Everything in the room was spinning constantly. I felt like I was on an amusement ride. A COVID test showed Catherine was positive. She quickly got into a clinical trial at USC's Keck Hospital. Three days after it, my, my taste came back and I was like, oh my gosh, I could taste again. Going to a doctor at the first signs of symptoms of COVID is now considered critical in preventing serious illness. You have COVID and you're starting to have symptoms, get seen early. That's going to make the biggest difference. Are you seeing treatments now that are really working? Yes, definitely. A year ago, many, if not most, COVID patients with worsening symptoms were put on ventilators. Now you can usually avoid that with quick intervention. Doctors now treat patients with a combination of drugs, including antiviral drugs like remdesivir, blood thinners to prevent clots that are often caused by COVID, and common steroids that prevent inflammation of the lungs. What are the most promising treatments you're using right now at the hospital? Still, the number Number one best treatment that we have is steroids and what that does is it brings down the inflammation it doesn't allow your body to turn itself against itself another effective treatment can be monoclonal antibodies given to thousands of patients including former president trump who were treated quickly after testing positive if you're the right candidate and you're at that right time period which is really early on in your course where you're not going to need significant amount of oxygen monoclonal antibodies can be used and they can make a difference. Catherine Acopian thinks monoclonal antibodies made the difference for her when she was given them in a clinical trial at USC Hospital. I'm like at 100% of what I was prior. But public health experts say the best tools in the fight against COVID are vaccines. We had a new vaccine developed against a new disease in record time and its deployment in record time. Public health experts say the key to ending the pandemic is vaccinating the population to achieve herd immunity, including vaccinating children, which they say could happen before the next school year begins in the fall. For the I-Team, I'm Joel Grover.